There were other actions at the state capitol this week. E-Capital News Director Sean Ashley joins us with those details. Sean, removal of the hotel motel tax has upset teachers and their supporters, and other parts of the tax increase plan have yet to pass the Senate and are somewhat in doubt. What's the latest? That's correct. This revenue raising plan was made up of three major components. The big revenue raising package, which would generate $474 million, from which the hotel motel tax, which is $43 million, is being taken out. Additionally, there was the itemized deduction cap, which was also approved and signed by the governor. And then finally, approximately $22 million or so, so that would come from allowing Oklahoma's Native American casinos to utilize ball and dice games within those casinos. That bill has not yet been heard in the Senate, and for a while it looked like it might not move forward. But late Thursday afternoon, the Senate Business, Commerce, and Tourism Committee, which had laid over the bill earlier in the day, sort of had a surprise meeting. They reconvened, and they considered a House version of that bill and approved it, moving it closer to the Senate floor. Currently, there are three versions of ball and dice moving through the legislature, a special session version of the bill that originated in the House, and then a regular session House version of the bill, the one that passed committee, and then a Senate regular session version of the bill, which is awaiting consideration in the House. All combined, these will generate more than $500 million, which will be utilized to pay for the, the pay raises and other programs, as well as general government operations. Is there any concern that much of this new revenue is based on taxes for things that people are using less and less of? Well, that's exactly true. Approximately half this money comes from the cigarette tax, which part of the reason of raising the tax is to discourage people from smoking. In fact, the Tobacco Settlement Endowment Trust on Friday afternoon tweeted out that very fact that the increase would help decrease the rate of smoking and discourage new people from, from taking up the habit. At the same time, uh, people are using less gasoline and, and a share of the revenue comes from a three cent increase in the gasoline tax. I don't think lawmakers are as concerned about losing revenue on the cigarette tax side of things. As they look at the gasoline tax side, in the last several years, a number of pro proposals have been considered and at least one passed that would put a fee on electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles, which are helping to decrease the, the amount of gasoline tax which the state is collecting. On education, the legislature did pass a bill to fund common schools in compliance with a state law they often ignore. That's right. Back in 2003, the legislature passed a law requiring that the common education, the Department of Education budget, be approved by April 1st. They've done that only one time in the past, in 2004, and not since. Uh, on Wednesday, the Senate took up House Bill 3705, a $2.9 billion appropriation to the State Department of Education and gave it its approval. That bill is now awaiting consideration by the governor. It represents about a $500 million increase in state appropriations to cover those teacher pay raise increases, the support personnel increases, and additional money to go towards classrooms and textbooks. Sean Ashley with eCapital, thanks for all your hard work this week. Oh, you're very welcome.